actual drone footage. The inside of Anchored in Sussex, formerly known as Anchored in Worthing Micropub. This is my new venture. Temporary, of course, in this venue. There's our uh, new off license. Nice little bags there, injected gift bags. And there's a few stouts we have in, with your notice, our uh, hand sanitizer available on many tables, many places. A range of stuff, everything of course from Sussex. And come down, some lagers over there. And that's Greyhound and uh, Hand Brewery. Yeah, and we've got a nice little selection here. They're all going down quite well, actually. But flying around just nicely. Look, we've got, we've got nice little gift boxes for you. Gift boxes if you want to buy somebody some nice gifts. And of course, look at this. What a lovely colours and wonderful designs they have on all the on all of these uh, cans they have. Some people must go a long way to do stuff as good as that. We think it's all quite wonderful, personally. But we have got some nice burning skies in here, look. Just came in this week. And I'm now to a few bottles. We've run out of uh, nearly all of the, in fact, that's all we've got left now there, the uh, three bottles of Murder of Crows is all we've got left from uh, Kissing Dates at the moment. We will probably be getting some more in this week. Another lager there from Hepworths, of course, Long Man's Pale. Hip hop, got a few there, quite a few of those still. The last of the LSDs, as far as I'm aware, unless I've got some up at the other place. And of course, move up here onto our lovely little spirits range in a second, as soon as I move some rubbish out of the way. Oh, there we go. What have we got here? Oh, no, that's not a spirit, that's another uh, hand sanitizer. Always available for everybody to take hold. And we've got Chillgrove, little selection there from Chillgrove. Harley House Blue Gin, Generation Sussex Dry. We did have some Generation Overproof, but that seems to have sold out today. We'll be getting some more of that in, of course. Tomcat's range, Harley House Gin, Madam Jennifer, some Bolney uh, Rosso. It's a bloody lovely Rosso, though. If you like a vermouth, beautiful with tonic and even better with elderflower, actually. Then we here have Old Bourne Vermouth. I haven't tried that one personally, but I'm told from people who bought it just before Christmas came back full of praise. As a proper dry vermouth. It's very, very good. As people told me it was anyway. And some more gins, Blue Thorn Gin. A quick look at that. Donating 25% of the profits to Cancer Research and the Seb Adrian. Olu Foundation, or Blue Foundation, I think that's probably supposed to read, that's somebody else's writing. Of course, a nice few bubblies, and a nice soda siphon up there, that's not really in use at the moment. And we come on to the Wistons, in case you're wondering why the, the um, heart's there, of course it's coming up towards that time of year, Valentine's Day. A week tomorrow, a week today in fact, on the 14th. All these lovely rosé sparklings and still wines. All of course made in Sussex. You didn't realise there's so much here from Sussex, did you? I know I didn't when I first started. But look at that then, what a lovely little selection of stuff we've got. More wines, that's one of my favourites there, the Ridgeview. And the Timwood is absolutely top -tastic really is fantastic stuff. Hello tonight, as it's my birthday, I'm being treated. A nice little syringe there of our, our mainly still wines on there, it's all still wines on that table. Still white Bacchus and uh, Pinot Gris, a little Chardonnay there, there is the one Chardonnay from Henner's, those of you who like Chardonnays. Although the um, Stop and meet a bloody good choice actually instead. And um, where are we coming back up here? 
Going in there, there's a Bolney there, the Bolney Q. Q English Sparkling. Um, and as it says on there, Royal Botanic Gardens Q. I'm assuming that's what I sell at the, um, at the Q Gardens in their restaurants there. And anyway, I'm treating myself to one of those tonight. So, uh, say happy birthday to me. Now up in the background is an old thing from King and Barnes. Long since long lamented by many a Sussex man and woman. And uh, just a little tour around the top. A few bits and pieces we have to have laying about. Oh, a few cans there, which my friend David is turning these cans. He's turning them into candles, which will be on sale here very soon. And that's uh, a friend of ours there from the uh, Royal National Lifeboat Institution, which is our chosen charity here at Anchored. And with that in mind, there we have a fantastic picture of a lifeboat with one of my old regulars at the helm. Well, it's not down here though, he's uh, the Hartlepool lifeboat, that one. I don't know, a few old notes. And there's our other friend Trevor. He's, the, uh, he's our sentinel, our original teddy bear and uh, looker after of the pub. Unpaid. Because he's, yeah, he's cheap. He's very useful. And he keeps an eye. Oh, and some a couple of quiz things there. We've uh, the pub has won. Our away team, our away quiz team called Anchors Away. Oh, wasn't that original? And there we have some cans of uh, gun. Those few there are all on special offer. And a fiver, uh, three pound each. Not a fiver, uh, three pound each. And that's it. And there we have finally. Anchored in Worthing polo shirts. Remember, I got anchored in Worthing micro pub. And there we go.